Do you know who mm -hmm. Artis Gilmore is? Yeah, yeah. This yeah. guy, uh, my opinion, he's one of the top three ABA players ever. And him and Mel Daniels. I think most people don't know who Mel Daniels is. So, interesting what if in history, by the way. Mel Daniels uh, was mm -hmm. he's he was the all-time ABA leading rebounder. He averaged about 15 rebounds mm -hmm. a game, 18 points a game in the ABA. Mm -hmm. He won three rings with the Pacers and two MVPs. So this dude mm -hmm. is actually, he accomplished a lot in the ABA, just no one knows him because it's the ABA. But, mm -hmm. I mean, if you match up his awards with the NBA awards, he should be up here. Um, interesting what if, though. Um, Cincinnati Royals actually picked him in the draft in 67, and he chose the ABA because they offered him, like, a little bit more money. So... Interesting. What if in history? What if he joined forces with with uh, Oscar Robertson and Jerry Lucas? What what kind of a what kind of a team that would be, right? <laughs> that would That's have been one a great of the, team. The, the the what ifs I found that most people don't don't know about. They don't know about Mel Daniels. They don't talk about him. Mm -hmm. But that's that's right, actually right, one right, of the most right. interesting what ifs. But yeah, dude. Uh, right, all time all There's all time what leading ifs. rebounder, I mean... and no one knows about him. <laughs> Speaking of Bulls, Artis Gilmore, yeah, Artis Gilmore, Chicago Bull, actually. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He played Most people don't, don't remember him. Uh, he actually won MVP in the championship in the ABA. He's actually the all-time leading field goal percentage leader. 62% true, true shooting percentage. Oh, really? Crazy guy. Um, 12 rebounds a game, too. Pretty mm -hmm. crazy. Mm 